Back in the days before it was called Configuration Manager 2012, uh, Microsoft had this product that we used to think of as SMS. Now, do you know what SMS stands for? It stands for Slow Moving Software. And uh, part of the reason for that is just all the, the, the timeouts and the, the scheduling that goes on inside the Config Manager infrastructure, deep under the covers. And previous versions had some interesting limitations that could make the slowness in slow moving software be slower. Well, these days things have improved quite a bit, and one of the ways in which they have is the discovery methods and Active Directory's discovery methods that exist. I, I put together recently a, a, a series on Configuration Manager 2012 for CBT Nuggets, and I wanted to give you a quick micro nugget peek at some of the new best practices in enabling Active Directory discovery methods in Configuration Manager 2012. If you don't have Config Manager, pay particular attention, and if you do, double check the settings in your own environment. So now that we've assigned the boundaries, the next thing we have to do is actually set up, not the client settings, but the discovery methods. Back in 2007, there were a bunch of discovery methods that served to do nothing more than confuse people. Uh, Active Directory system group, or site system group, and group system, they, they, they were very poorly named. So thankfully in 2012, we've gone about and changed the naming structure to make things a little more obvious. The first of these discovery groups is Active Directory Forest Discovery. And what this is, this is for really is for helping you discover your sites and services. So whatever sites are out there, what, what are the subnets associated with those sites, then you can th create boundaries from that information. Okay, see, I can turn this on here for site boundaries and then IP address range boundaries as well. Unlike the, discovery, uh, the other discovery methods, forest discovery is not used for populating the assets and compliance node down here with stuff. It's really for the entire site and hierarchy. Choose yes, I'm gonna run that forest discovery. You'll see it's enabled now. So now we have to make some decisions. Back in the 2007 days, we had this notion of system discovery. And if I clicked on System Discovery, I could turn on Active Directory System Discovery, and I could say, OK, go grab me all of the computers in my domain, company.pri, search through all the child containers, uh, use the computer account of the site server to do that, and poof, it would go and grab all of the computer accounts. But there's kind of a problem there. Let me ask you this. So in your Active Directory, can you, can you honestly say that you know every computer account in your Active Directory is actually a, a working computer? You know, the, the one computer that, oh yeah, no, Phil's computer, his computer used to be named Phil, but then we, you know, Phil changed his name to something else, or we fired Phil, and now Phil's computer's name is Bill, but we still have Phil's computer account in Active Directory, and there's really no computer associated with that computer account. So back in the day, turning on Active Directory computer or system discovery kind of was almost a bad thing, right? Because I would have, you know, 80% of my accounts were known good and 20% were known bad, but I couldn't really tell which ones were which. And I would just know that when I tried to do compliance reports on the latest patch of the month, I always had some 20% of machines that just never would respond because they didn't actually exist. So a lot of people said, Microsoft, you've got to fix this. And they actually did in this version. Thank you, Microsoft. So this version now says, all right, Active Directory, give me all the computer accounts, but give me those for only when a, the computer has logged onto the domain in a given period of time or when, and or when they have updated their computer account password in a given period of time. Think about this the computer that's just sitting there that nobody ever logs into still updates its computer account password. So if I'm interested in those, well, I might want to turn that on. There are other machines to get logged into all the time. For those, I may want to turn those on as well. So depending on what you're interested in, if it's the machines that are logged in, so the actively being used machines, or just machines that are still network attached, you can determine which one you want here and then change the time since last logon or last password update here. This was not even remotely useful before this new little page came into account. So this is really, really makes this thing useful. In, in fact, 
uh, if you've ever used, uh, there's a command line tool, really, really old command line tool. I think it was invented in like 98 uh, from a website called Joeware. I think it was joeware.net called Old CMP. Old CMP command line tool, old, old as dirt. And uh, you could use that to identify which machines have not logged on in 90 days. And you can even remove them from Active Directory if you want. This kind of essentially inventories the same kind of data out of Active Directory. Uh, you can do the same thing with PowerShell these days. Now, once you turn this on, you need to identify a polling schedule. These days, the discovery stuff is augmented with Delta Discovery, which says once a week, I'm going to go ahead and poll the entirety of Active Directory for its stuff. And every five minutes after that, I'm going to see what's new or modified. Very useful Delta Discovery because then I don't have to do a full poll more often than seven days. What in the world are you doing? There, it's very funny. So the street cleaners are out here, and there's a guy doing donuts in the street out in front of me with the street cleaner right now. Um, very strange what goes on when videoing is happening. Anyway, uh, set the polling schedule. It's, it's by default. It's every seven days, um, every five minutes for the Delta Discovery Interval. Here's another interesting thing. So there are a number of object attributes that are discovered by default. In addition to those object attributes, I can choose additional attributes that I want to pull out of Active Directory. So anything, pretty much anything that's in Active Directory, I can just add this over to the selected attributes, and poof, it will be available in my discovery data. Want to learn more? Check out cptnuggets.com.